As we saw in the first video in this section, we can use a combinator solely as an effect, and I'll show you how to set that up in this video. Here we have a subtractor and a chain of effects, an EQ, a phaser, a scream distortion, and a reverb. Let's bypass the effects. Here's my EQ, my phaser, my distortion, and the reverb. Now all of these are controlling the subtractor. I'm just going to take the effects and bring them into a combinator. So I'll select all four of these and choose Combine. And now you can see that a combinator follows the subtractor. Let's save this combinator. And we're going to call it, I don't know, how about cool effect chain. So how did our auto routing work? Well, if we flip the rack over, you can see that the subtractor now goes to the input of the combinator, which passes down to the two devices, which goes to my EQ, then my phaser, then my scream, then my reverb, and then back to the from devices of the combinator which then goes back to my mixer. So when I play it, it's going to sound exactly like it did before. And as you can see from the indicator lights and from the meters, all of the effects are getting their information. Everything's being passed through and we're hearing the sound obviously. Now let's see how easy it is to reuse that combinator. We'll get rid of both the subtractor and the combinator leaving our mixer. And let's create a Thor this time. And now we will add an effect to the Thor. So we can choose one of our effect devices. We can choose a combinator and build an effect combinator. But I can also go to create effect and we'll navigate to the folder where I saved the combinator effect we just created. There it is, cool effect chain. And that's all I need to do. The routing has happened automatically from the Thor. And everything sounds the way it's supposed to. It's in mono because the subtractor was mono. So let's hook up the right channel. Now let's define some bypass buttons for our four effects. We can assign button one through button four to bypass each of the four effects. This will be EQ, this will be my phaser, this will be my scream, and the last one will be the reverb. And then in the modulation routing section for each one of these devices, I'll select the appropriate button, set it to enabled, and as we did a few videos ago, we'll set the range from two to one. So when it's on, the device is on. When the light is off, the device is bypassed. So let me set up the phaser, the scream, and lastly we'll take the reverb, assign it to button 4, from 2 to 1. All right, now we can go through and turn on or turn off each of the effects. Here's the EQ. Let's open up the devices so you can actually see them being turned on. There's the EQ getting its signal. Now I'll turn on the phaser. Now I'll turn on the scream. Now I'll turn on the reverb. Now I turn them all off except the reverb. So this is really cool. You can build an effect combinator and turn on or off selected effects in your chain. So I'm going to save this. And once again, I can get rid of my Thor. I can bring in another device. Let's say we'll bring in an NNXT. Just use a grand piano here. And the cabling is a little messed up. It cabled right to my mixer. But all we need to do is change one set of cables. Now, there's my piano. 
with EQ, phaser, scream, and reverb. So I hope these last few videos have given you some idea of the endless possibilities of using combinators in your Reason Rack. And now it's time for you to go have some fun.